I'm going to be reacting to the absolute best Dungeons & Dragons TikToks I can find. We're going to laugh, we're going to cry, and we're going to get stimulated. How much for this? Uh, it's 65 before tax. Oh, wow. All right. How much? Oh, that costs 20 gold pieces. Yeah, so instead, you're going to give it to me for 10 gold pieces. Or I punt kick your son across the village. Oh, my God. <laughs> Petty? That's my boy! No, my boy! Father help! 15 gold and you still get the joy of punting my son. Oh my god. DM, can I convince these orphans I'm their father? Oh, man. Make a deception. Somebody once told me to roll a natural 20. Wait a minute, that is not what I said. I said, make a deception. The DM was pretty pissed. I could see him clench his fist as I rolled the dice. Guess what it read? Oh, this is a bop. DM, that is a natural 20. That was great. That was awesome. The song is by Gensai Wheel. Quoi? Quo, quo. Something like that. Get side quo. This, this is what their account looks like. That was a fucking bop. That was probably my favorite so far. Ben does D and D did I... a fantastic job using that sound. That's well, nothing I haven't seen before. <laughs> Hey, what's going on in here? Why are you leaving? <laughs> okay, I'll go. Table, I have three songs to give my players an idea of how intense the encounter will be. Starting with, you probably won't die. Oh, display you service. <laughs> you will die. On a scale from one to ten, my friend, you're fucked. At my D and D table, I have. Three <coughs> 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 oh, that was great. This is what your favorite Dungeons and Dragons multi-class says about you. My favorite multi-class was a wizard rogue. That was my absolute favorite multi-class. Let's see if he gets that. You have never actually played Dungeons and Dragons. Your favorite spell is fireball. And what could be better than casting it twice? <laughs> no, I, I too can't stand the idea of creating a new character, so this one has to live forever. Buddy, I get it. Big numbers make brain go burr. But have you considered making friends? Brain go burr. I just process through my brain making you friends. You are someone with impeccable taste who truly understands. I love barbarians D's, the too. Pick of barbarians Destiny's are timeless awesome. classic that deserves to be talked about in the pantheon of the great fantasy epics like Lord of the Rings, but fueled by the power of metal. Okay, but Rogue Bard, oh, you have issues. I don't have an intro for this, so. No, I think the door was just stuck. What was her name? <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. Barbarian, a whole ass mood. Anybody seen a set? Oh, shit. You know what? Let me get in here too, bestie. Let's talk about this. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna shut the door. I'm sorry. That wizard is me, though. You're right. You want another drink without making you feel better? Like a fruity one? 
Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me, let me see what I can do. You just, you stay right there. Do we need to talk about him? Oh, you're crying harder. Okay, let, let it out, let it out. Oh, you are crying. Okay, no, 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 you're okay, you're okay. You know what? I'm gonna go get you some water and then we'll get some fresh air, okay? This is so good. I can watch this over and over and over again. This is great. Oh my god. How is this so good? It's just in reverse. It's so good though. What's your favorite D&D &D race says to me about you? Your favorite flavor of ice cream is plain vanilla and you refuse to eat any other flavor. But if you play a variant human, sometimes you spice it up. Okay, I love gnomes. I don't know why. Let's see what Douglas has to say about gnomes. A bit and get chocolate chips in yours. You drive a lifted Ford F-150. Everyone either inexplicably knows you're bisexual or they think you are when you really aren't. You, my friend, are a bottom. Your favorite game growing up was Skyrim and you still play it way too often. You're the type of person to recite every single Lord of the Rings fact you know every single time you watch the movie, no matter how many times you've watched it or who you're watching it with. In the not so distant past, you were dead set on going vegan until you realized you had to give up chicken nuggets. You're either a furry, an aspiring crazy cat lady, or you are just trying to get that exploit where you can run faster than the speed of sound. You're the type of person to say someone else's joke slightly louder than them and get all of the credit and then immediately run that joke into the ground. Doug, where is Gnome? You can't just skip over Gnome. It's like classic D&D &D race. Oh, part two's up. Okay. What's your favorite D&D &D <clears throat> race says to me about you, part two? There better be Gnomes in this one, Doug. I want to know what you think about me. Part two. You like to think you're the smartest person in the room when in reality you have very little idea of what's going on around you. You either say you like anime and you mean it, or you say you like anime and you only ever watch the Death Note and Netflix adaptation. Everyone thinks you're a stoner, regardless of whether or not it's true. You have a lot of pent-up anger about something extremely minute. That's what you think about me. I see. It's true! It's true! You are either mega religious, or you have a lot of religious trauma. Either you spend way too much time at the gym, or you are comically short. You like to say you're chaotic and off the wall and this and that, when in reality you're scared to ask for more mustard. You absolutely had a Deadpool phase. At one point in your life, you had an uncomfortable celebrity crush on Natalie Portman. You secretly kind of liked math in elementary school, but you were too ashamed to admit it. You were the type of kid to catch frogs and snakes on the playground and chase people around with them. <gasps> My God! Did you kill that man? No. Who did? <laughs> you did. What? How dare you? Oh my god, you're right. And with a chicken, no less. <laughs> that doesn't even make any sense. Oh my god, I beat this poor man to death with a chicken. Yes, you did, Greg. My name isn't Greg. My name is Greg, and I've killed a chicken with a man. The power of natural 20 compels. <laughs> so yeah, that was D&D &D TikToks. They were fucking awesome. I love D&D &D TikToks.